Hey, how's it going? Uh, I just want to do a little update. We have two auctions coming up this week. One on Wednesday. Um, it's a giant unit. And then we have one on Thursday. Or is it Friday? It's Friday. Which is actually in our hometown. Which would be nice to be going right down the street and right back to the house. So, um, update on the last unit that we got. It was full of clothing and stuff. And I'll show you that stuff in a minute. Uh, we sold, I, I ended up paying about, uh, roughly between the U-Haul and the unit, we paid close to 522 for the unit just in diabetes strips that we found in the unit. We, we sold, uh, about $530 just in those in three days to cover the unit. So everything else that we sell in there is all profit. That was one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I wish I had more diabetes strips because they sell quick. If you come across those in a storage unit and they're expired, do not throw them away because people still buy one touch expired diabetes strips. Doesn't matter how expired they are, people still buy them. So keep an eye out for those people. Uh, let's, let me show you some stuff in the basement. Yes, heading down into my dungeon. This is where we keep everything stored. I may have shown this to you before. I have all these totes here full of stuff. This is still stuff I have to go through. This is the gaming unit. I still got a few things left in there to go through. Stuff here, I have stuff stored. That's all listed. All the stuff from the gaming stuff. Guitars. This keyboard over here, we got that listed already. People are interested, I've got up in Facebook Marketplace, but you know how that is. People lowball the crap out of you on Facebook Marketplace. So, you know, uh, pictures and stuff like that. Come over here. These were the totes that we got out of that last unit that were absolutely filled with stuff. If you can see this, this is what's left of the shoes. Not too much, a few Nikes. Levi's shoes, never heard of those before. But that's not too bad. We got most of those listed. I actually threw them up pretty cheap just to get rid of them. And this tote right here is empty. And then we have this tote right here that is absolutely filled with jeans. All different kinds of name brand jeans. Now I figured that. Marty and the Prophet. I was gonna throw all these on eBay at 10 bucks a pop plus shipping. And I think there's about 40 pairs of jeans there. You do the math. 10 bucks, 40 pairs of jeans. So that is that for down here. I got, and I know my storage area is a mess, but I don't have a storage unit. To, can't afford a storage unit right now. I'm still uh, figuring this whole game out myself. But, you know, it's a bit of a mess. But that's okay. And we're going to go to the next stop. So today, this is all the stuff we got listed. All these jeans. All these clothes down here in this tote. This pile of sneakers all right here. We got all that listed today. Um, we have two eBay stores. One's a toy store and one's a everything else store. So this, this is a tote of Batman figures that we need to get listed for the next few days because going into the fourth quarter here, we haven't got any of those listed. I got all these Pokemon cards right here. I need to get listed still. And there's like a few random things in this room. I try to keep this room, you know, most stuff listed. But... I have this two boxes of uh, costume jewelry down here that I got to get listed. And these are all the higher end clothing that I'm working on today. Polo, Ralph Lauren polo shirts and jeans and shoes and all kinds of goodies like that. And I, and does anybody, has anybody had any issues out there selling badges? Because they say, you can't sell badges on eBay. 
but I've sold three. And if you go on eBay, there are uh, a lot of people selling them and that have sold them. But I had gotten mine pulled down for some reason. I'm not sure why. So any help there? Any question? Anybody uh, want to help me out there? Let me know in the comments below. So I just wanted to show you a few things that we've sold in the past few days. Ruffler and Polo t-shirts. These are all the one-touch strips I was talking about earlier. We've sold a lot. Within three days, we've sold a buttload of them. As I scan down, you can see all the goodies that we've sold. And that's like the vast majority have been the one-touch strips. This was a good sale, that Washington Redskins football jersey. But nothing humongous, but decent sales, I think. So this is one of the storage units that ends on Wednesday that I'm looking at. If you can see that. It's pretty full. It's got a lot of goodies in it. I am, as of right now, the high bidder. But we'll see what happens. And on Friday, this is another one that's on Friday. Luckily, this one's only at 50 bucks at the moment. And this one's right down the street from my house. And this is gonna make everybody sick because I'm gonna scroll really quick. But you can see that. It's pretty loaded too. I'm not, I don't quite like the way this place takes pictures, but... There's a lot of goodies in this one, I think. We have really good luck on units that look like crap. For one, nobody wants to bid on those. People are looking for units that are neat and clean and stuff like that. And I've had fantastic luck on units that it looks like people are living out of because they keep all their valuables inside the friggin' storage unit. And I don't, know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me or maybe it's just the area I'm in. I'm in uh, New England, so. And I don't see many storage unit videos from this area. It's kind of rare. I know there's uh, there's picker videos from uh, New Hampshire. I forgot the name of those people, but I thought I'd stop doing it for the New England area. So yeah, these are the two units we're looking at.